I got my new comic day books and a package from Aegis Comics of Alaska. Stick around and see what I got. What's good YouTube, Empire Comics here, back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the books I got for New Comic Book Day. And then also I'm gonna open up this package from Aegis Comics of Alaska. Last Saturday for the Spine Ticks 1000 subscriber giveaway, Aegis of Alaska gave away a prize and I won. And I'm excited to see what we got. But first, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly comic book hauls, CGC unboxings, and new comic book day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, I think I wanna open up the package first and see what I got here. All right, it says, congrats, Spine Tech 1K giveaway. Thank you guys. All right, off rip, we got some stickers. That's going on my laptop. All right, let's check these out. Let's get this open here. Oh, this is nice. I believe they said these are all their exclusives. This is Red Sonia issue 20. Check that out. That is a sick cover right there. Let's see if y'all can see it. Eh, barely right there. Oh, snap. <laughs> Mars, Atta Mars Attack Red Sonia issue one. These are pretty dope. Oh, snap. All right, this shit is dope. This is Venom issue 30, the Mike Mayhew variant. Um, there's only a thousand of these. Check out that cover. Holy shit. This is dope. Oh, man. Yo. This shit is beautiful. All right, you guys know Spider-Man is my favorite. Uh, but this is just beautiful. This is the uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 800. Um, the Clayton, Clayton, Clayton Crane variant. Um, man, but look at that art, bro. Can y'all see that? There's no glare. Look at Black Cat on that and Spidey. This is awesome. Ah, that's a beautiful cover, man. Oh! Um. Bam. They wrote it in the back for me right here. Amazing Spider-Man issue one, the Del Auto variant. Right here, Amazing Spider-Man number one, Del Auto, $60. Yo, look at this. Man, I'm a huge fan of the Black Suit Spidey, of course. Bro, this is going on my wall. I have to make space. I don't know, Web of Spider-Man might have to go. Sorry, that's, ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a nice 15 center, door 181. I'm not sure what goes on in this issue. Looks like Thor's fighting the UN. It's God versus God. Not sure what's going on with that, but it's clearly Bronze Age. But Bronze Age comics are my favorite comics to collect. Nice. Oh shit. They have a little sticky here that says $40. All right, this is dope. Check it out again. I want to give a big, big thank you to Aegis of Alaska. Thank you so much for the books. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. Guys, if you're not already a subscriber, hit them up. They're always uploading some funny skits, so definitely check them out. And then, of course, go check out the homie Sif Lorley and the Spine Tick. If you guys weren't there last Saturday, you guys missed out. They're always throwing a hell of a party every Saturday night, so check them out. All right, now let's get on to the new comic day books. All right, the first one I have is Last Ronin Issue 4. Spoiler, this is the one telling the story about how Donatello and Splinter died. This is going to be the first one I read. All right, the next one I picked up is Frontiersman issue one. The girls at my LCS recommended it, so I decided to give it a shot. All right, the next one from Boom Studios is Eat the Rich issue two. I didn't get a chance to read issue one, but I'm gonna spend this weekend catching up on all the books I need to read. And then I also got the variant, but this one has that mistake where it says issue one when it's issue two. And another from Boom Studios, Dark Blood issue three. Image King Spawn issue two. Then we have Radiant Black issue eight. And this one's one of my favorites by the Horns issue five. It's a pretty nice cover, too. All right, now for DC, I got Batman issue 113. 
part of the fear state i think that also has the first appearance of peacekeeper x then i have the cover b variant it's a pretty dope one then we got nightwing 84 another fear state tie-in this is nice right here catwoman 35 the jenny frizzen variant you already know i'm collecting those got two of them I'm trying to get a whole set then we got another fear state tie-in batman secret files miracle molly issue one all right suicide squad king shark issue one this one has a bunch of first appearances and we got the car stock variant this one's nice man all right now for marvel i got a uh, death of dr strange issue one cover b with the course spoiler the death of dr strange and i got that peach momoko that one's pretty dope then i got that miles levitate 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 then I got X-Men issue three. And the uh, Marvel Girls car stock variant. And I got the United States of Captain America issue four. This has the first appearance of the Filipino Captain America. I'm not even gonna try to mess up her name. Her first name is Ari, but that's her first appearance in there. Then we got Moon Knight issue three with the first full appearance of Hunter Moon. And of course that dope Miles variant right there. Then I have Guardians of the Galaxy issue 18, part of the Annihilation uh, tie-in. And I got the Miles variant for that one. And the last one is Star Wars Bounty Hunters issue 16, part of the War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. Getting one of those. All right, guys, thanks for sticking to the end. That's all the books I picked up for New Comic Book Day and the books I picked up for the Spine Ticks 1K giveaway. Again, thank you to the Spine Ticks and a huge thank you to Aegis of Alaska for the books. They all stand in my PC and that one's going on the wall. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. If there's a book you think I missed, let me know. And until next time, keep specking. Later.